Jason, the 4th of July is less than a week away, and it's never too early to start prepping for your holiday bash. Molly O'Malley from Joanne Fabrics and Craft Stores is here with some easy-to-make patriotic crafts to make your celebration festive. Thank you so much for coming in this morning. Thanks, Kim. We all know that... Fourth of July is really about the decor and the atmosphere, so we got some great projects for you today. And I love this table. It's already looking so festive. So where are we starting? We're starting here with these okay. really easy and kid-friendly paper mache letters. We sell pre-made paper mache ones just like this. You don't oh, have to perfect. do anything with that. And all you're going to do is paint them with acrylic paint, and you're pretty much done. That's fun. You can see right up here we've added some painted wood stars for decorations, work the red, white, and blue in a little bit. Yeah. This one, if you want to get a little more advanced, I did Mod Podge some holiday fabric on the top. Oh, that's just fabric. It's so fabric. So you didn't like draw it in. I did not draw it. Not that's quite easy. that artistic. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, and you can get these stars at Joanne's. You even? can. Everything available at your local Joanne Fabric and Craft Store. I suppose you can do just about anything with this if you want to put glitter or who you knows can. what. Glitter works great. Glitter glue. Rhinestones, if you're really into the bling you're, uh, for your 4th of July, you can even do some flowers if that's kind of your thing that's too. That's awesome. And this is something that can last so you can store it and then bring it out next definitely, year. Definitely, definitely will keep for years. Okay, awesome. And next you brought these wreaths. Yes. So bandana wreaths are all over the inspiration boards okay, lately. Okay, I'll hold one up so you can see what it looks like. Yes, here. it's just a giant piece of America, basically. It is. It's, it's a really great decoration. These are bandanas. Just regular bandanas. Okay. You can buy them at your local Joann's. Just a giant square. How something many would like you think this. you need for something like this? About six of each color. Okay. Because not bad. you're gonna cut them in half. Okay. So it's a good way to double them. So cut them, cut them in half just like that. Just like this. The best way to do it, I We're, find. And this, what is this? This is just a wire wreath form. Again, available in the floral supply aisle. You can oh, do okay. lots of stuff with it. Sure, so I bet. basic wire form. Okay. And then you got the half in Yep. Easiest way, banana. fold it in half. In half again like this. And what you're going to do, form a little thing here. You're just going to loop it around your wire wreath. You just basically tie it. Tie it, give it a little tug so it's tight. That and is you are all so ready to go. Easy. Mm -hmm. So easy. And where would you maybe display this? Would you hang it on a wall or a wall or a front door? There's a couple of different oh, options. Yeah. If you have um, if you're a front door person, you have one of those wire hangers left over from Christmas wreaths. Yes. Fits on that. Otherwise, this would look great. Yes, definitely. On a front door. Okay. Mm -hmm. Molly, thank you so much for showing us these two really easy crafts. We love the ideas. I see you brought your glue gun. I did. And we're going to use that in the six o'clock hour. So I can't wait to see what you're going to show us. Yes, Thanks it'll so be much. Great. You know, the 4th of July, less than a week away, and it's never too early to start prepping for your holiday bash. Joining me now is Molly O'Malley. That's a good Irish name, it is, by the way. Yes. From Joanne Fabrics and Craft Stores <laughs> with some easy to make patriotic crafts. Thanks so much for coming in. Yeah, thanks for having me back, Kim. So we begin with, I don't know if we can get a shot, but we have this beautiful flag here draped by our table. And uh, if we can get a shot of that, we can show how it's made. But this is basically something where you can buy fabric at Joanne Fabrics. Yes. And you can make it yourself. You sure can. It is definitely a little bit more of an advanced involved craft. Okay. Some of the ones we saw earlier, it does involve sewing. Okay. So you will need to have a machine, probably a little bit of experience. But buntings are super popular. Uh, they love people love to hang them from porch railings railings yeah. inside uh, all it takes is a little bit of quilting cotton I have some here um, you're just sewing it together in a couple of stripes like oh. this and then the advanced part comes with a little bit of folding to get it to have that sure. nice drape there there are instructions for it on the Joy and Fabric and Craft website under the inspiration okay. tab if you're really interested in doing that. If you're a sewer, maybe that's for you. If Definitely. not, you do have the pre-made flags we, for sale. We sure do. We okay. have pre-made ones that are designed to go outdoors. So if you want to leave them up for the rest of the summer, for sure. That's easy peasy. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, a lot of people like to gather around a table for barbecue, maybe mm -hmm. some hot dogs and hamburgers. And you've brought this beautiful 4th yes. of July centerpiece. Yes. It's all about the table decor, for sure. Okay. So this is something that you can make at home? Absolutely. Um, it just requires a few little things. We do have any sort of container. I like the rustic look. Okay. So we've got. So you brought one here. We do. We sell these at Joann's. A bunch of different ones. We have red, white, silver, all that kind of stuff. Fine. You're going to fill it with this. It's green floral foam. I've seen so, that before. Yep. You'll yep. feel just like a, a real live floral designer with that. And you're yep. just going to tuck it in. 
And then we have an assortment of flowers. Of course, you're going to want to do red, white, and blue themed. Yep. Um, and I like to trim them with a wire cutter, so be kind of careful with that because wire cutters can be dangerous. Yeah. And you're just going to stick them in. And you can do whatever kind whatever of flower you, you want. want. I like to vary height a little bit if you can. It just makes it a little visually more interesting. Um, we do have some nice oh, summer pinwheels here. Just to add a little bit more. Super cute. Mm -hmm. and these Especially definitely with the red, white, and blue going on. And if they're going to be outside too, they'll spin a little. They'll catch oh, the wind. That's fun. Tiny flags, also always great for something Gotta like have that. that. And then I like to have a little bit of a ribbon here as mm -hmm. well. Um, Is if this you something want. you just tape on, or can you glue it? You can one tape or? it. You can glue it. Uh, whichever way is going to be best for you. Okay. So super easy, and uh, all this stuff you can get, of course, at your Joanne Fabrics. Absolutely. And craft store. So, uh, Molly, thanks so much for coming in Not a and problem, sharing all Ken. these ideas with us. Uh, I could maybe do the centerpiece <laughs> sewing. Not so much, right. guys. Not a sewer. <laughs>